here, I'm Risa, and I love sharing all things Disney. My husband Alex and I recently discovered the pure magic of a Disney cruise, so we hopped on another one. During the spookiest time of the year, join us as we sail away on a three-night bohemian Halloween on the high seas cruise on the Disney Magic. Good morning. We are here in Nassau, Bahamas. This is such a beautiful sunrise and such a wonderful way to wake up in the morning. I have definitely missed this. Cruise views are definitely one of my favorite types of views and I hope to have many more. All right, now that we are wide awake, well, kind of, I'm still rubbing cobwebs out of my eyes, but now that we are somewhat awake, I'm going to get ready for our excursion today at Atlantis. I'm so excited. It's going to be so much fun and the weather looks amazing. So I'm going to get my face on, put on my bathing suit and get ready to have some breakfast at Cabana's. Let's get ready for our day guys. Alrighty, I am ready for our excursion. Got my bathing suit and cover up and this cute little Walt Disney World hat that I am wearing backwards for a picture today. I always enjoy getting ready in this little area that I always set up with my makeup, my jewelry, and then in this drawer right here I have my hair tools. And it's so nice because this TV swivels. So I have a movie playing right now while I get ready. And then they have this convenient little stool that you can pull out and use to do your makeup and hair, all the girl things. And over here, I want to show you something because we just got to Nassau and look who we are next to. We are right next to the fantasy. I have such fond memories on the fantasy because that is a cruise that I took with my parents. Alex and I invited my parents along on a seven day Disney cruise on the fantasy and we had such a wonderful time and made so many beautiful memories. And I'm not sure you can see, but I can see lots of people on their balconies waving, saying hello, and it is actually so cool. Nonetheless, we are ready. I'm just waiting for Alex to get back from the gym and we're gonna head to Cabana's for breakfast. So see you there, guys. We headed up to deck nine to get a better look at the fantasy right beside us. I just love this ship and cannot wait to return one day. Then we headed to Cabana's for some breakfast. We were there bright and early and had the best start to our day. Then it was time to head to our port excursion. Something I love about Disney excursions is that they take care of everything for you. All you have to do is show up and everything is already planned out and ready to go. As we entered the port of Nassau, we noticed right away that all of the construction was completed and the whole port was renovated and transformed. Then we hopped onto our transportation buses that would take us to the Atlantis Resort. As we arrived, our excursion guides helped us check in for a fun day at the resort. Upon entering the resort, we quickly noticed several luxury shops. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was still pretty early, so none of the shops were open, but this resort definitely screamed opulence everywhere you went. We headed to Starbucks on the resort to wait out the rain and get some energy to kick off our day. I'm super excited. This is a real Starbucks. I didn't have coffee this morning, so we were in a rush, and I was really craving a coffee. And sometimes hotels have like that fake Starbucks, but this is a legit one. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we made it to Atlantis. It doesn't look very tropical right now because we are indoors. Because when we arrived, it was pouring. Well, it started off as a sprinkle and then a downpour. Massive rain cloud came over the Bahamas, but that's just to be expected. It's normal. 
Yeah, but from our view right now, it looks like the rain might have stopped. We have a limited vision right now, but we came to Starbucks and we're trying a new drink. What's cool about visiting Starbucks is around the world is there's different menu items. So at the Bahamas, they have a wide variety of shaken espressos that they don't have in the US. And we tried the hazelnut shaken espresso. Now, it's a strong one but it's great, at least for me, because I like coffee. Risa. I don't have an opinion yet because I have not tasted it, so let's go ahead and do that. She's not gonna like it. <laughs> Risa thinks she likes coffee. It's good. It okay. is good. It tastes like chocolate. Well, hazelnut. Yeah. I usually get the brown sugar shaken espresso in America, but we decided to try something new, and this tastes like chocolate, like coffee infused chocolate which i love it yeah it's great so anyways we are going to explore atlantis there's really like not a map and there's so much to do so depending on the weather we might check out the aquarium if the sun comes out we'll just do all the outdoor activities but we'll take you along yep so let's get our day started and we'll take you along for the ride guys as we headed outdoors, we passed by a few more shops. This resort is definitely not lacking in the shopping department. We also passed by some restaurants and quite surprisingly, there is a full-size casino as well. We finally made our way outdoors and walked through a tunnel to reveal quite literally a tropical paradise. The sky was blue, the water was clear, everything was so lush and green, and there was sea life everywhere. These stingrays were absolutely magical. I was quite mesmerized, but they were just the beginning of all of the sea life we were about to encounter. We entered a cave and were quickly immersed by ocean life of all kinds. Everywhere you looked, there was something new to discover. I truly could have spent a full day exploring all of the ocean life displayed at this resort. This was genuinely an extraordinary experience. I could not have asked to be more immersed other than actually being in the ocean with all of the sea life I was surrounded by. Exploring this portion of aquatic life, we made our way back up and found the resort beach. At first, we found ourselves in front of the resort on quite a narrow beach. But as we made our way down, we stumbled upon quite an expansive beach. This is also a private beach that resort guests and people with day passes also have access to. We enjoyed the serenity of the beach, walked around a bit, and watched the waves as they passed by. After some fun, it was time to head to Pisces Bar for a little refresher. We got the Paradise Pineapple, which was served in a fresh pineapple. Then it was time to make our way to Aqua Venture Water Park. This is the Atlantis Water Park that is filled with water slides, river rides, and pools of all types to make the best of your day. <laughs> adventure at the Rapids River. This is apparently the longest river in the Bahamas. Through the river's mile-long meandering loop are wave surges, elevations, and drops of up to seven feet. Whoa! include a section with powerful white rapids all pushing riders through the scenic landscape. Wow, is that you? Oh, oh yeah, the iconic one. Ah! These river rapids were clearly very well thought out and super efficient in transporting you to all of the different experiences throughout the rapids, such as this conveyor belt that takes you to your next drop. 
There was such a good combination of calm parts, exhilarating rushes, and fun drops that really made this an engaging and very enjoyable experience. After an exhilarating ride, it was time to try out some slides. First off was the serpent slide. On the five-story corkscrew serpent slide, guests travel on a tube at high speeds through the darkness of the Mayan temple's core. The twisting and turning ride culminates with a leisurely pass through a clear acrylic tunnel submerged in a lagoon filled with amazing marine life. Next up was the jungle slide. This open air body slide doesn't have any unexpected drops, making it a perfect choice for younger riders. Then we headed to The Surge. This inner tube ride features a camel backdrop into a cavern, then quickly twists and turns downwards into the white water rapids. <laughs> and let me tell you, this ride definitely lives up to its name. Which is why I ended up at the nurse's office. How are you doing? The battle is. We'll have to explain it in a little bit. Yeah, we'll have to explain it, but lesson learned. <laughs> After a very long day and my unexpected injury, we decided it was time for lunch. So we headed to Shake Shack, which was a treat to see here on the resort. As we entered in true Atlantis fashion, there was an aquarium inside, so you could watch all the fish as you ate. This definitely added to our experience here, but it was actually freezing inside and my hair was wet, so we decided to eat outside. After lunch, we explored the grounds a bit more. We discovered so many more aquariums and sea life all around. There are over 10 marine exhibits all over the Atlantis Resort. My own oh my Atlanta. Oh wow. We then stumbled upon this dungeonous looking room that actually led into a fun gift shop. Inside were your typical souvenirs such as t-shirts, keychains, and magnets. Oh my goodness, he's so ugly. It's scary. <gasps> wow, they're like Ursula's eels. Why do they stick their heads out of there like that? Like, this is their preferred. They like being in these pots, huh? Weird. Yeah, he's like, take it, take that dog. Look, he's backing up to kill me. I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends. Wow. Even though we could have stayed here all day, it was time to head back to the ship. So we said our very sad and last goodbyes. Goodbye. Goodbye. We're leaving. We went 
in through the main resort tower and marveled at the sheer opulence of everything around us. There was even a 360 aquarium view down at the lobby. I was absolutely mesmerized and Alex and I decided that we definitely have to return just to stay at this resort and experience everything it has to offer. You could probably spend a whole week here and just barely touch the surface. Although we more than enjoyed our time there, we were definitely tired and ready to return to our ship to relax. We got our bats, and then we got a treat. We don't know anybody on the cruise, but let's see who it's from. Hello, we are back in the room after our Atlantis excursion, and I've got some band-aids on my elbows. That's a story for another time. We're just popping in really quick to um, grab our coffee card for the Cove Cafe. We came back very sleepy, so we're gonna go stop by the Cove Cafe and get a coffee and kind of just relax and wind down and then come back into the room, give you a little update of our whole Atlantis day. And then we're gonna get ready for all of the evening activities. Today is a jam-packed day. But I wanted to pop on really quick before the Cove Cafe because we arrived to our room. I don't know if you saw, but we did decorate it with our bats and our spooky little netting. Um, I got that at Walmart. It was like $5, I think. Um, I just put it up this morning. But we also had a little treat waiting for us by our door. And it is from somebody. It has like all the information. It says, just a little pixie treat from Aubrey with Magical Journey Adventures. I think this is a scheme to get us to follow Miss Aubrey on her social media. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she has probably a YouTube channel or an Instagram or both. Um, but that is very smart, Aubrey, so I'm going to follow you. I can't really look it up right now because I don't have internet, but I will investigate when I do have internet. And there's a little more information. It says Disney Magic Cruise Halloween on the High Seas, September 15th through 18th, 2023, Stateroom 2011, and she's on Deck 2, which is where we are. We're on Deck 2, so we are nearby close to each other but that is so cool and that is very sweet um we just recently joined a disney cruise facebook page so apparently there is a facebook page created for each disney cruise so if you have a disney cruise booked or upcoming look for that on facebook and you'll probably find a facebook group to find more information meet some friends and it'll definitely get you excited for your upcoming cruise i noticed on the facebook page that a lot of people would become friends and then start talking and they will exchange treats throughout the cruise we didn't really bring treats but getting this really made me appreciate the thought and i would really like to do that for somebody on our next cruise so we do have a cruise coming up for thanksgiving so maybe i will bring some treats for that cruise but yeah this was a very long pop-in we're going to head out and go to Cove Cafe, like I said, and grab a drink. So, see you there. Okay, guys, we are in the Cove Cafe. It's very quiet in here, so I don't want to be too loud. Alex already drank all of the coffee. I had like three sips, but he left me half of a Rice Krispie stick and this little maybe like a ghosty macaroon it's not a macaroon it's like a meringue meringue and to be clear uh, the pastries here at the cove cafe are included they're not extra so i didn't leave risa with that that's what she asked for <laughs> i ordered extra stuff for me which i ate okay thanks for the clarification yeah I, I have to right like look if it's free and included <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna i'm like i'm not gonna share but we were supposed to share the drink yes but Risa did have to go back to the room and to get the camera a hot coffee's gonna get cold <laughs> anyways nobody got time for that okay we wanted to recap our experience in atlantis and i think we should start off by saying this every time we've docked or ported at the bahamas 
we've never really been excited. Yeah, it's always been like, okay, let's get off, just to say we got off, and then go back to the ship. Yeah, get some steps in, take some pictures. Yeah, but I think first we should mention that the past few times we've been, it's been under construction. The port, yeah. And we really didn't know, or at least I didn't know what the construction was for, but now we know because it's all finished. And the whole port is just completely renovated. It is a whole new port. It is beautiful. It's cute. Yeah. It's charming. I mean, the new port is just, is everything. Yes, and it is worth getting off, I feel like, even if you're not going to do an excursion or go to Atlantis, because there are so many new shops and restaurants and cafes and ice cream shops that you can just hang around in and just enjoy the new scenery yeah. and the port area. But that was what we first noticed. And secondly, we got there while it was raining, so we thought it was going to be a very bad experience at Atlantis, but I, thankfully. I knew, I told Risa the minutes are raining, it's going to blow over in an hour. And it did, yeah. So I, I'm like a weatherman now. <laughs> but I also got to say this, that throughout the whole week, we debated on canceling this excursion because it is pricey. It is $230 per person. Yeah. That means for two people, it's 460 bucks plus tax. Yeah. Up until I think yesterday, we were thinking of canceling it until we realized we couldn't anymore. Yeah, and yesterday we went to go cancel it, and that's when we realized we couldn't. Yes, so I'm super glad that we didn't and we got to experience it because it was truly an experience and I think worth every penny. We didn't even touch the surface. It, Atlantis is so massive and it has like a little bit of something for everybody. Yeah. It has beautiful aquariums and sea life. It has water activities, yeah. the beach, pools, drinks, food. I mean, it's got it all. It's incredible. Yeah. I kind of want to go back to just stay there. Yes, it truly has so much to offer. I mean, first of all, you're in the Bahamas, so there is like a whole beach area you can enjoy. And on top of that, there are so many pool areas. There's a kids and family pool area. There's adult areas. There's bars and there's tons of water slides for all ages. Speaking of water slides, I did have an accident. That was on the last water slide we went on. It was the Power Surge. Yes. And it's one of those aquatic uh, water coasters. So you like, you shoot off and you're going super fast and it was actually pretty intense. Yeah, and we definitely were not prepared. The name Power Surge is truly a fitting name because it was very powerful. Yeah, it, it shot me off of the floaty, like projectile shot me off. But I was not holding on. I was filming with my phone and obviously they have handles on the tubes for a reason so lesson learned i fell straight forward and i guess i fell on my elbows and scratched my elbows on the bottom of the slide which is concrete so i skidded but thankfully it's not too bad it could have been worse i truly could have, could have like you could have died i could have projectile like you, you projectiled. flew into a wall yeah, like, yeah, I think this one, like, the instructions clearly say, have your hands on the handles, and Risa was just being, I mean, I, yeah, I was trying she to lives for this, She all. lives for this YouTube video, <laughs> and I'm being dead serious, like, she shoots off a little bit of the left or to the right, and she's dead, because she just... Yeah, so that was pretty scary, but now I can laugh about it, because it wasn't as bad as it could have been, but before we went on that slide, we did a whole bunch of fun stuff. We started off at the River Rapids, and fun. those were so much fun. There's like calm parts, and then there's like surges of waves, and then there's also like little kind of like slides. And then after the River Rapids, we did two slides. We started off with the iconic slide that you see on all the Atlantis videos, which is the one that shoots you through a tunnel like an aquatic tunnel where you can see sharks, and that was really fun. That was a highlight. I mean, we had a shark swim above us. Yeah. That was so cool. I didn't think I was going to see that many, but there was like about five around us. Yeah, it's... Yeah. It is so well done. Like, the theming is on par with, like, Universal Studios and Disney for the water park. 
but they incorporate so much like again sea life everywhere everywhere and like, it's just beautiful yes everywhere you go like shake shack had an aquatic view like the lobby in the hotel had a surround like a 360 aquatic view and there's like little tunnels and museums all over the place where you can see tons of different fishes i feel like that alone could take you a whole day if you dedicate your time to those aquatic like excursions but to wrap this up because we're talking a lot i will say this it's expensive 230 dollars per person i think if you go to atlantis for yourself and like get a taxi i think it's a little bit cheaper i think it's 200 dollars. Mm -hmm. so you save 30 bucks each way but then you're paying for the taxi so i'm not sure how much you save but yeah i will say this we will gladly do it again and that's how much fun we had and we will do it again so highly highly recommend it. so that was a very fun day at atlantis we still have a whole evening of events ahead of us so we're gonna go back to the room shower rest for a bit and get ready for what's to come so we'll see you in the evening